Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video would be a makeup tutorial on this glam look right here. I wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic but still very classy and very sexy and chic. I feel like I haven't done a full glam makeup in a while and I've been thinking on doing one for quite a bit of time. So today is the day. So yeah, let's get started. Okay. I already have my foundation and my brows done so we'll go straight to the eyes. And f the first thing we want to do is to prime our eyes and for that I'm going to be using Urban Decay Secret Potion in color Eden. You want to distribute it evenly across the entire lid, up to the brow bone. Next we want to set up that eyeshadow base with a powder or just a regular eyeshadow that's very close to your natural skin color. Just lightly dust it over the entire lid up to the brow bone as well. It's going to help brush glide over your eyelid very very easily and make that blending super super easy. After we set up the powder we're gonna grab a scotch tape to help us with the wing and create that cat eye look. You can also use Beauty Blender's wing eyeliner tool which I don't have so I'm gonna be using the scotch tape and it works just as well. I'm taking a small part just around like the length of my little pinky finger and you want to place it diagonally to the arch line just underneath your lower lash line so it kind of should end when your eyebrow ends and just gently tuck it in into your lower lash line it's a very weird feeling but nothing unpleasant just like that and just be sure not to tape your lower lashes because you can pull them off when moving the tape so just be very careful about that that's about what it should look like now I'm gonna do the second eye you want to make sure that the tape has an even arch on both sides so once we do the wing it's gonna be very even as well now I'm grabbing my Morphe 350M palette and I'm taking a contouring color it's a bronzy light shade this one and I want to create a nice contour to my eye very gently using back and forth motions and placing the eyeshadow onto my crease and I really like to place my brush like that to create a very diffused effect it's gonna make it more smoky and sexy <laughs> Now we're going with a bit darker brown shade and we're going to place it right underneath the contour color. I'm paying special attention to the corners of my eyes and just like going over the tape because I really want that cut off look and it's gonna help with that. I'm using a round motions to, to blend everything up. Like don't be afraid to go over the tape. And remember to also distribute it right here. When there is almost nothing left on my brush, I'm going over the entire crease to create extra dimension and to blend both colors. And then go up to intensify the wing. Up next, I'm going to be using even darker brown shade, this one, at the very corners of my eyes to even make it more dramatic. Only here, in the outer corners, paying attention to go over the tape for that extra wing and then I'm gently going down to the lash line and kind of this angle to lift my eye I want to add a little bit more warm colors to my look so I'm gonna be using this shade right here just above my crease to give it that warm look very gently like there is almost nothing on my brush just warming it up all right once we outline the eyes with brown colors i'm going to go with black and gently outline it right underneath my lash line and create the eyeliner effect and for this i'm going to be using a very very tiny but still fluffy brush so you're placing it in the corners just as you would do with the eyeliner and you make your way up, smudging it out at the same time. 
Just don't go to the middle of your eye too much, only at the corners and winging and taking it up. Again, just make sure you fill that part here in. Once we take it off, like we don't want any space in between. I think I'm done with the black, so I can now remove the tape very gently and continue with the eyelid after. Like just be super gentle when doing that. And look at this. It really creates a very sharp line, but it's also smudged at the same time. That's the kind of look I was thinking to do today. I want to add a shimmer to my lids, so I'm going to be mixing those three products. One of it is Butter London Glazing Eye in Spark. It has a gel-like texture that gives that wet look and shimmer, but it's actually dry. And on top of that, I'm going to be using two color Pop Cosmetics shadows. One of it is in color Amaze and the other one is on the rocks. I'm going to apply it in the middle of my lid first. And again, using my finger, I'm just going to apply a maze first on top of that. It kind of creates another layer and another texture to my lid and I like this kind of look. And I really like building the products, building the look. So you kind of layer two to three eyeshadows to give that very custom and nicely textured look. And lastly, I'm going to go with on the rocks color just to kind of slightly tone it down to match my eyes. Now I'm going to line my eyes using Hourglass Mechanical J Eyeliner. It's super tiny, so it's very precise. And I want to apply it very, very close to my natural lash line. Just to make my lashes look fuller and denser. And I'm also lining the upper rim here. Once we apply lashes, we don't want to have white space in between the lashes and your eye. And I'm just gonna follow with some mascara. And of course I'm using my favorite L'Oreal Voluminous in color Carbon Black. I'm going to be using Iris Beauty Lashes in style Cleopatra. I really like them because they are very dense, they are very dramatic, and that's exactly what I want today. After the glue is completely dry, I'm going again with my Hourglass Liner, and I'm gonna line again my upper lash line just to mask, it, mask the glue out and, and create a smooth black line. And I'm gonna top it up with black eyeshadow as well. We're basically just locking the liner in. So it stays super black all night long. Before we do the lower eyelid, I'm gonna be using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm starting in the inner corners of my eye, all the way down, and creating a V-shape. This way it will also lift your eye up. And then my forehead in the middle of the chin. You can use it here too, to bring your lips. Now I'm going to take a brush and further define my wing. It will create a very, very nice contrast between white and black. Just be very careful not to go over the wing. So you need like a more defined brush. And I'm going to do this motion like that to kind of release and again lift my eye. Okay, now we are ready to do the lower lid and I'm going to use exactly the same combination of colors that I used on my upper lid using a small fluffy brush like this one. So I'm starting with the light bronze color all over the lid, blending in. Now you want to take the black color and only apply it very close to your lash line and kind of connect this wing with the lower lash. And now I'm going to take the same Colourpop shimmer and I'm going to apply it at the beginning of my lower eye. To open up my eyes even more, I'm going to apply this MAC nylon color in the corners of my eye. I will use the same color just to highlight the arch very, very 
gently only pulling it right here now I'm gonna add a few individual lashes to my lower line just to kind of make it more intense and open my eyes even more like I'm gonna apply maybe five or six on each side so nothing too crazy now I'm gonna contour my face using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Color Cafe If everything looks good to you and there are no like crazy sharp lines you can go ahead and set it or, or let it bake for a moment with a powder and I'm taking it to the nose as well to intensify the contour that I created now here and I like to place it right underneath my contour to even further intensify it and create like a nice sharp line in the meantime I'm gonna use blush to add some color to my face and I'm going to use scalp and glow palette from models own now we can dust the excess off and then distribute it evenly over your face to set the makeup For my highlight, I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And guys, you want to stay organized when doing your makeup. I was like looking for it for at least five minutes when the camera was off. So I'm going to be mixing a few colors from this palette to kind of create a custom highlight. And I'm starting with this beautiful gold one. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this white. So the last step will be my lips. For my lip liner, I'm gonna be using MAC Cosmetics Long Lasting All Honey Liner. It's the perfect blush liner. I feel like everyone should have it. And because my eye is so dramatic, I really want to create like a very nude lip to balance it off. And then I'm gonna be using my favorite combo from Those of Colors. First, I'm going to apply the Supernatural Matte Lip Lipstick and then I'm going to follow in with lip gloss in color Undress. And lastly, I'm going to give myself some spritz using NYX Cosmetics Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. You want your makeup to stay flawless throughout the entire night, so this is what you need. And in case you're wondering what I use to keep my skin very bronzy and glowy, I use Melanie Millie's Hollywood Radiance Lotion in color rose gold. Alright guys, so that's it for this tutorial. This is the finished makeup look. It's very sultry, very sexy, very chic and very, very dramatic. So this is something you might want to wear when you're going out and you just want to stand out in the crowd. I really like how this makeup came out. And I hope you like too. And I see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's a big round blush. It's a big round brush. Tutorial on this glam look right here. I feel like I had, oh, I feel, I feel like it has a gel-like